Today, we are releasing the Divi 5 public alpha. Head to elegantthemes.com slash Divi 5 to download it and take it for a test drive. Before you do, please consider the following. Firstly, this is an unfinished alpha build. Don't jump to conclusions if you experience bugs, performance issues, compatibility issues, or if you don't like the UI. That's why we invite you to test it so we can gather feedback, fix problems, and improve the final version. There will be many bugs, but we look forward to working with the community to resolve them quickly. If you experience a problem, click the chat icon, let our team know, and we'll handle it from there. We aim to make the Divi 5 Alpha even more stable than Divi 4, and this will be our focus over the next month. If you don't want to participate in the bug testing phase, please wait and jump in later. Secondly, a few features still need to be added to Divi 5. If you notice something missing, it's not that we removed it, we just haven't added it yet. We'll be filling in those missing features during the alpha and nothing will be missing from the final build. Thirdly, you shouldn't expect modules from the Divi marketplace to be ready for Divi 5 at this early stage. You can still use those modules since we built Divi 5 to be backwards compatible. However, if you use Divi 4 modules with Divi 5, the pages using those modules won't benefit from all of Divi 5's front-end performance improvements, and editing those modules will require AJAX reloads in the Visual Builder. If you experience bugs with third-party modules, direct those questions to our team rather than module creators. Fourthly, we plan to improve several things before the final release. We have additional performance improvements and the UI still needs fine tuning. It's an alpha, it's not intended to be perfect. It exists for testing and to gather feedback to improve the final version. Finally, for all the reasons I mentioned, it's recommended that you approach this initial version with caution, using it only for testing on non-production websites. That recommendation will change once we iron out the kinks. With those essential notes out of the way, let me show you how to download, install, and use Divi 5. Head to elegantthemes.com slash Divi 5 and click the download Divi 5 button. Install it from the themes page in your WordPress dashboard and head to the migration page. The migrator will scan your website, look for Divi 4 modules, and give you a report about the modules you are using and whether or not they are natively supported by Divi 5. You can then decide whether or not to proceed with the migration. If you are testing on a new site, there won't be anything to migrate and you can hit the ground running. Migrating your website to Divi 5 will convert all compatible Divi 4 modules to the Divi 5 format, updating the post content throughout your site. If your website contains unsupported modules as highlighted by the migration system, you can still proceed with the migration. Those legacy modules will be wrapped in the Divi 5 shortcut module and continue to function using the legacy framework. Pages using those modules, however, will not benefit from all of Divi 5's front-end performance improvements. Before migrating, be sure to back up your website. Remember, at this early stage, we do not recommend migrating production sites. Test the migration system locally or on a staging site. Next, launch the new builder and test it out. You can expect something new but familiar with a performance boost. The new builder also includes improvements such as more intuitive responsive editing, new interaction modes, breadcrumbs, etc. Don't expect new features, those will come next. Divi 5's focus is building a new foundation. If you see this orange notice in your admin bar, you may still need to migrate your website or the current page contains unsupported modules. It's not an error, but it lets you know that the page is running in backwards compatibility mode. If you run performance tests on a page with this notice and don't see significant improvements, you know why. Report any bugs you find, we'll work hard to fix everything quickly. We will update Divi 5 every two weeks, appearing in your WordPress dashboard as a regular update. You can use Divi 5 and follow along as we improve it and add new features throughout the alpha phase. We plan to quickly get to a stage where the Divi 5 public alpha is even more stable and bug-free than Divi 4, thanks to the new foundation we built, at which point everyone can adopt Divi 5 freely and at their own pace. But for now, expect bugs.
That's all for this month's Divi 5 update. We are excited to enter the public testing phase and can't wait to get your feedback, improve Divi 5, and see our work benefit Divi 5 adopters. I'll be back again next month to let you know how things are going, so don't forget to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update. I'll see you in the next one.